Hello all, welcome to the class again. In the last class we studied about the cell cycle. In this class we will discuss about the mitosis and the different phases of the mitosis. So what is mitosis? Mitosis is the process of cell duplication in which one cell will divide into two genetically identical daughter cells. So that is a very very important point. One cell is getting divided into exactly same identical daughter cells. So that is called the mitosis. So the points are the cells chromosomes are copied and then distributed equally between the two new nuclei of the daughter cells. So the chromosomes are maintained. The total number of chromosomes are maintained. They are not at all changing. So here the total number of chromosomes are maintained. Therefore the mitosis is also known as equational division. So mitosis is actually what? It's actually the division of the nucleus. It, it occurs only in eukaryotic cells. Mitosis occurs only in eukaryotic cells. So these are the important points of mitosis. That is the process of the cell duplication in which one cell will divide into two genetically identical daughter cells and the total number of chromosomes are maintained. So mitosis is also known as the equational division. So there may be a question why the mitosis is known as equational division because, because even though the chromosomes are copied the total numbers are maintained. That is why they are known as the equational division. So it occurs only in the eukaryotic cells. So here comes the different phases of the mitosis. These are the prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. These are the different phases of the mitosis. In the diagram you can see the different phases of the mitosis. We will be discussing each by each. Okay. So here the mitosis stages. Prophase, it is the first stage in the mitosis. Prometaphase, it is the second phase in the mitosis. Metaphase is the third phase in the mitosis. Anaphase is the fourth phase in the mitosis. And the telophase, that is the fifth and the final phase of the mitosis. So how many phases are there? Five phases are there. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. So we will discuss the prophase and prophase is the longest phase of the mitosis. Here what happens is that the parent cell chromosomes which were duplicated during the S phase contents and become thousands of times more compact. S phase you remember that the, in the cell cycle there are interphase and the mitosis phase. In that case interphase was the longest phase. Mitosis is the shortest phase. So in the interphase there are different phases G1, S and G2. So in the S phase is the DNA synthesis phase. So during the S phase the parent cell chromosomes which were already duplicated and that become more thousands of times more compact in the prophase stage. So here the chromatin condenses into chromosomes and the nuclear envelope will break down. What happens to the nucleolus? It will shrink and disappear. Spindle fibers will emerge from the centrosomes. The chromosomes contents into X-shaped structures and we can easily see under the microscope that X-shaped structures. And each chromosome is composed of two sister chromatids that will be containing identical genetic information. So these are the different most important points of the prophase which is the longest phase of the mitosis. The most important point is that nuclear envelope will break down and the nucleolus shrinks and disappears. Spindle fibers is also emerges from the centrosomes. As we already discussed now the prophase here the, in the diagram you can clearly see that the chromatin condenses into chromosomes and the nucleolus disappears. So the most important phase that is a prophase, the chromatin condenses into chromosomes and the nucleolus will disappear. Next is the prometaphase. What happens in the prometaphase? That is a second phase. In this process that occurs that the separates the duplicated genetic material carried in the nucleus of a parent cell into two identical daughter cells. So what happens? The nuclear envelope will break down in the prometaphase. Also, the kinetochores appear at the centromere, that is in the center, and mitotic spindle microtubules attached to the kinetochores. So these are the uh, different stages appearing in the prometaphase. It is the second phase. The nuclear envelope will break down and kinetochores will appear, start appearing at the centromere, and mitotic spindle microtubules will attach to the kinetochores. So here in the diagram, you can see that the nuclear membrane breakdowns and the kinetochore microtubules invade the nuclear space and 
that will attach to the kinetochores also the polar microtubules surrounding push against each other moving the centrosomes apart they will pull the centrosomes apart that is what here happening in the prometaphase which is the second phase so as we have already said about the kinetochores so what is this kinetochores the kinetochore that is a protein complex assembled on the centromeric region of dna that is in the middle in the picture you can clearly see two sister chromatids okay so they are all pulled into the center by with the help of the kinetochores so it provides a major attachment point for the spindle microtubules to pull the chromosomes apart so there comes the function of the kinetochore what is the function of the kinetochore it mediates spindle microtubule attachment and control the movement of chromosomes during mitosis and meiosis that is a major function of the kinetochores so it is a protein complex and it is attached in the centromeric region of the dna and it acts as the major attachment point for the spindle microtubules and that will pull the chromosomes apart the function is that it help in the movement the control of the chromosomes during the mitosis and the meiosis so next comes the metaphase what happens chromosomes are lined up at the metaphase plate you can clearly see here all the chromosomes are lined up at the metaphase plate each sister chromatid is attached to a spindle fiber originating from the opposite poles so the most important thing is that all the chromosomes are lined up that is in the imaginary plane all the chromosomes are lined up so in which phase the chromosomes which lined up is in the metaphase okay next comes the anaphase what happens the chromosomes will break at the centromeres and the sister chromatids will move to opposite end of the cell here you can clearly see the sister chromatids what happens to the sister chromatids they are moving to the opposite poles centromeres will split into two you can see the two portions sister chromatids they are called the chromosomes they are pulled towards the opposite poles so what happens to the certain uh, spindle fibers they will begin to elongate the cell so this is what happening in the anaphase that is sister chromatids will move to opposite end of the cell so in which phase the sister chromatids is moving to the opposite poles means anaphase stage next comes the anaphase what happens the chromosomes will break at the centromeres and the sister chromatids will move to opposite end of the cell here you can clearly see the sister chromatids what happens to the sister chromatids they are moving to the opposite poles centromeres will split into two you can see the two portions sister chromatids they are called the chromosomes they are pulled towards the opposite poles so what happens to the certain uh, spindle fibers they will begin to elongate the cell so this is what happening in the anaphase that is sister chromatids will move to opposite end of the cell so in which phase the sister chromatids is moving to the opposite poles means anaphase stage the last phase that is a telophase chromosomes at opposite poles begin to decontents nuclear envelope material surrounds each set of chromosomes you can see the clearly the nuclear envelope the mitotic spindle will break down the spindle fibers continue to push the poles apart so these are the different stages telophase is the last stage here chromosomes at the opposite poles you can see the chromosomes right because in the anaphase it, it has been pulled apart so it will begin to decontents now in the telophase stage nuclear envelope material surrounds each set of chromosomes we can see the nuclear envelope material the mitotic spindle will break down and the spindle fibers continue to push the poles apart so these are the different stages of the mitosis here a brief of a prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase telophase and as comes the cytokinesis we will be discussing in the next class so prophase what happens chromosomes contents and become visible so nuclear envelope will break down centrosomes move towards the opposite poles prometaphase what happens chromosomes continue to contents kinetochores appear at the centromeres in the metaphase what happens they are lined up at the metaphasic plate in the anaphase what happens syndrome is split into two so the sister chromatids they are now called chromosomes they are pulled apart the, towards the opposite poles in telophase what happens nuclear envelope material surrounds a set of chromosomes and the chromosomes arrive at opposite poles and begin to decontents also the spindle fibers continue to push the poles apart so next comes about the cytokinesis cytokinesis is what is there you can see here see the animal cells a cleavage furrow separates the daughter cells right in the plant cells there is a cell plate 
to the new cell wall that separates the daughter cells. That is the main important difference between the animal cell and the plant cell. So these are the different phases of the mitosis. Prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. So here is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.